Ballet. Ballito is Italian diminutive of ballet, meaning to dance, to jump about. Its vocabulary is based on French terminology. Ballet developed under the aristocratic influence as a formalized form of dance. A formal dance technique is combined with the costumes, scenery, and music, as other forms of artistic elements. Ballet integrated dance, music, stage design, and poetry to make a dramatic storyline. At first, its role was a virtual component of the opera. Take a look to some pictures of ballet dancer. Notice the different poses of this dancer. They show flexibility, grace, and strength. Three words amongst many others to perfectly describe ballet. But before ballet became more the most well-known art forms, it was much simpler like shown in this picture. So now, let us find out who are the people behind the succession of ballet. One of the people behind ballet, we have Catherine de Medici. She spread the ballet during the Italian Renaissance courts from Italy to France. She was important to the development of ballet because she introduced stylistic influences from her Italian homeland into the French court. In particular, she brought Pompeo Diabono, Cesare Negre, and other dancing masters from Milan to France and made the arts, including dance, a central part of court of life. King Louis XIV founded the Académie Royale de Musique from which the Paris Opera Ballet developed as the first professional ballet company. He was a ballet enthusiast from a young age. He made his debut at the age of 14 in the Ballet de Cassandre in 1651. Two years later, in 1653, the teenage king starred as Apollo, the sun god, in Royal Ballet of the Night. Also, we have Domenico da Piacenza, one of the first ballet dancing masters. He was an Italian Renaissance dancing master. He became a very popular teacher with his students, who both later became successful dancing masters. At a time between 1452 to 1463, he received the Order of the Golden Spur. Pierre Beauchamp, in Renaissance time, he formalized ballet in France, and he codified five positions of the feet and arms. With Loli and Louis XIV, Beauchamp was largely responsible for the increasing professionalization of ballet. Through his teaching, he helped raise technical standards so that specialized training became necessary and amateur dancers from the royal court were no longer the sole performers of ballet. Jean Baptiste Loli often cast the King Louis XIV in his ballet. Loli collaborated with Molière, the French playwright, and the Comédie Ballet was created. Loli also created the tragedy in music genre. When Loli joined the Sun King's court, he sought to develop ballet into a more serious art. He is also responsible for a notable ballet first. During the 17th century, dancing was typically performed by men alone, following the theatrical conventions of the time. Male actors also acted female roles in the theater. Ballet spread throughout the Europe in Germany, Spain, Poland, and Portugal in courts. In Poland, King Ladislaw the Fourth Vasa promoted this dance. Ballet dancers organized into professional ballet troops and performed for aristocrats as they toured through the Europe. In 18th century, in France, ballet the action developed. The movements of the dancers were designed to express the storytelling and characters. That is how ballet became an essential part of the opera dramatization. A big role in this development played French dancer and ballet master Jean-Georges Nover and composer Christophe Gluck. Dance, music, and scenery were brought together to support the plot. So there are three formal techniques developed. The serio, the demi-character, and comic. Mikhail Falken. Mikhail Falken went to the USA. He was not satisfied with just athletic display and prettiness of the ballet. 
he demanded from Ballerina's expression and research of the history of the story and use of the authentic period costume. An America ballet was adopted to new media like television and movies. The theme was rather dramatized than a plot. There was more free thinking than a traditional narrative. Traditional tutu was changed by Baya Scott to give dancer more freedom of movement. Mikhail Baryshnikov, the director of American Ballet Theater in 1980. He has a great influence in contemporary ballet, mixed elements of classical ballet and modern dance. It is not strictly traditional. It has use of point technique as well as floor work and turn in of the legs. Attire in ballet. And these are the following dress code for girls. Black leotard, tights, poly shoes, hair tied up in a bun, and skirt. And this is optional. So next, these are the following ballet dress code for boys. Leotards or unitards, tights or leggings, and ballet shoes. The five basic positions are usually one of the first things taught in a beginner's ballet class but are essential to the technique of classical ballet as practically every step begins and ends in one of the five basic positions. First position Second position Third position. Fourth position. And lastly, fifth position. Arabesque is when the dancer stands on one leg with the other leg extended behind the body. The arms can be held in a variety of positions. Next is Chanshma means to change, jumps up in place and then switches the position of their feet and land in feet position with the opposite foot now in front. Pirouette is a 360 degree spin made on one foot that is in end point or demi point and is frequently begun from fourth position. So we have plie means bent or bending. So there are two main types, the demi plie means small bend and grand plie a large bend ronde de hambe one leg is at rest then the other leg is making a circular movement sate means jump and is frequently used in combination with other moves to signify that they should be done with a jump next is tendo means tight or stretch. It is where the working leg is extended along the floor until only the tip of the toe remains touching the floor. The J is when a dancer moves their leg off the floor from a position with a pointed foot and straight leg to the front, side or back. Grand Batment is a classical ballet term which means large batment. A dancers perform a grand batment by throwing the working leg into the air from the hip and brings it back down to a position, typically fifth position. Develope is a classical ballet term meaning to develop or developing movement. It is a movement where the dancer's working leg is drawn up to the knee of the supporting leg and extended to an open position. Developé is a very common step in classical ballet and many other forms of dance. Chains or chain turns is when a dancer is performing a series of turns on both feet, picking up each foot back and forth in order to keep moving in a line or circle. PK PK means to prick. It is meant to describe how a dancer transfers weight onto a leg on full point or high demi point. 
Next is Tombe Body Beret, which the dancer transfers body weight quickly from foot to foot in three small steps. Tombe means falling down. We also have Padasha, which is the step of the cat. Sadasha or the jump of the cat where the front leg develops instead of brushing straight. At the height of the jump, the dancer is in a split position. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. The origins of jazz music and dance are found in the rhythm and movements brought to America by African slaves. The style of African dance is earthy, low, knees bent, pulsating body movements emphasized by the body isolations and hand clapping. The Slave Act of 1740 prohibited slaves from playing African drums or performing African dances, but that did not suppress their desire to cling to those part of their cultural identity. The rhythms and movement of African dance, the foot stomping and topping, hand clapping and rhythmic vocal sounds were woven into what we now call jazz. Through the end of 1920s, Dixieland jazz music, with its fast ragtime beat, spread from New Orleans to Chicago and New York. The growth of jazz dance was directly influenced by this musical genre. In 1923, the Charleston was introduced and Americans were quick to adopt it. In the Charleston, dancers used body isolations for the first time in a social dance and the hand clapping and foot stomping that it incorporated were a direct link to the dance's African origin. People behind jazz. So number one is Belle Bojangles Robinson. So Belle Robinson is a black tap dancer who achieved world fame through the clean and clear percussive rhythms of his feet. The early forms of tap dance evolved from the Irish jig which incorporated limited upper body movements. So as the movements of the tap dance became more flexible, the lightness of Robinson styles influenced the future of tap dance by changing the placement of the tap steps from the full foot to the ball of the foot. Bill Robinson was seen performing on Broadway in Hollywood films and in shows that toured the country. Next one is Paul Whiteman. Due to his symphonic jazz, jazz music started to change. He brought full orchestration to his music and made syncopation a part of every song he played. Syncopation places the accent or emphasis on normally unaccented beats of music. It adds to the surprise and spontaneity of jazz dance. The music of the black American bands of Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong gave birth to swing music. The swing era, also termed the big band era, generated well-known dances such as the Lindy Hop and the Boogie Woogie. The third one is Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire has been a vital part of Broadway, but in 1933, when musicals found their fame in Hollywood, he became the leading man for movie musicals. Astaire created a unique dance style that brought elegance to the dancer's image. He blended the flowing steps of ballet with the abruptness of jazz movements and was the first dancer at the time to dance every musical note so that the rhythmic pattern of the music was mirrored in the dance steps. Fourth is Jack Cole. Jack Cole, known as the father of theoretical jazz dance, was busy developing his technique. Jack Cole had studied modern ballet and ethnic dance, had been studied at Dena Shone, and had done choreographic work in the nightclub scene. In the 1940s, there was a serious demand for groups of trained dancers for film work and Jack Cole was the one who started developing these trained jazz dancers for the Hollywood movie musicals. Jen Kelly 
began making his mark as a dancer in Hollywood musicals. His impact on jazz was his individual energetic dance style that combined athletic, gymnastic qualities with jazz and top. Matt Mattox, who had been a dancer of the Jack Cole style in many Hollywood musicals, began to develop his own teaching and performing style. He was another dancer who had studied ballet, modern, and top, then found his love of jazz in his late 20s. Matt Mattox went on to teach dance in New York for many years before moving to Europe in the 1970s and developing his school and style based on what he calls freestyle. Although many people still label him as a jazz dance teacher and choreographer. Luigi Giordano developed his technique as a result of an auto accident that left him paralyzed on the right side. Doctors claim he would never walk, let alone dance again, but he persisted through operations, physical therapy, and his own study of body development based on dance exercise, and eventually was able to not only walk again, but to dance and to teach. The technique he developed is influenced by ballet and is very lyrical. His technique requires that the body be exercised to its fullest to develop the strength necessary for muscle control, yet still look beautiful. Gos Giordano, or also known as Luigi Giordano, his style is classical but greatly influenced by the natural and freer body movements of modern dance. His technique te teaches isolation movements, emphasizing the head and torso, and creating an uplifted look of elegance. Yoga is incorporated into Giordano's technique as a means of relaxation. Bob Foss became the outstanding name in jazz dance. He performed on Broadway and in films, but his true success was a choreographer. His work includes the film All That Jazz and Sweet Charity, the Broadway hit Dancing, and the television special Lisa with A-Z among many other famous works. He choreographed a reproduction of Chicago in 1975. Foss style was distinct. It was highly creative and often included bizarre movements. It was sleek, erotic, and intense. He was one man jazz phenomenon whose style continued to make its mark on the Broadway stage and in Hollywood throughout the 1980s. The following are the jazz dress code for girls and for boys. For girls, leotards or unitards, tights or shorts, jazz shoes, and hair tied up in a bun. For boys, leotards or unitards, tights, jazz pants or sweatpants, and jazz shoes. The first basic step is the jazz square. First, step forward your right foot and cross your left foot and step back your right foot and go back to the first. Jazz layout. Upon kicking your feet, bend your back and your head and stretch your arms. The next basic step is the isolation. First, loosen your feet. In doing isolation, you can start on the head, down to your shoulder, and down to your hips. For the head, rotate your head clockwise and reverse and lift your head. And for the shoulders, rotate it backward or forward or alternate and reverse. And for the hips, swing it side to the back 
to the other side to the front and repeat the next one is chasse it is just like a change step Jazz walk. Step the right foot across the left foot and close. Step and close. Step and close. Yeah. 